But then the author takes us on a shared quest. And that language resonates with us. Because we all love the nature of doing something extraordinary and with other people. And I love how that frames for you. I love that how, how that frames for our friends in other nations, in developing nations. A shared framework of love and of adventure, a quest. So these... Knights, these noblemen, they gather and they have one purpose in, in common. They have this quest to bring, to, to find the grail and to return with it. And the author takes a moment then to describe how they had this mandate. And I think you've lived in this mandate as well. The mandate was, we're all going to enter the woods together, but we're going to enter the woods in this quest at the place that we recognize as the darkest entrance to the woods. I think that that theme has carried for centuries now. Risk, darkness, threat, fear. When? When it's time for our lives to propel forward to the impossible. When it's time for us to go on a quest, whether it be us individually or with our brotherhood or our sisterhood. So the fact that when you are attempting something new, when you are on a quest, when you are venturing out, the fact that there's fear is almost a prerequisite. There is no quest without entering into darkness. There is no hero's journey without finding yourself at that threshold where everything in you wants to turn around, but maybe just one thing in you compels you forward. So if you're trying to achieve anything extraordinary and you want to do it without the inconvenience of fear, history does not bear that out. Fear is cooked into the sauce. It's something that you need to accept. And if you can't accept it, then I don't think there's a quest. There's probably not a brotherhood. Life isn't that simple.